My name is Giorgio Aquino, and uh, I'm a maker of Spanish chorizos. Caminos chorizos. It is called that because the inspiration for it is the Spanish nature of it comes from the Camino de Santiago de Compostela, uh, where I tasted something that stayed in my mind in Mancilla de las Mulas, a town about 20 kilometers outside Leon. What makes it different? It's very Spanish, earthy, because, of, because it has a lot of paprika, and good paprika brings out the taste. I've had different attempts at making chorizo over the ages. I had to be more disciplined in terms of the ingredients, in terms of keeping a tight control over what the standards are. So why chorizo of all the meats? For the simple reason that I can make it. I like to make ham, I like to make other things, but chorizo is something that I'm able to, you know, do successfully. How do I make the chorizo? Uh, there are four steps. Basically, the first step is the most important, which is make sure you buy good ingredients. I handle the meat personally because not every meat is the same. Uh, the ingredients have to be well measured because I make good quantities of it, significant quantities. Mix it properly. I make sure that I look at it at the end of it to make sure that it's mixed correctly. The third step, is stuffing it in the sausage casing. I have a big stuffer that can do five meters of it at a time. Then you tie them into the right sizes, consistent sizes. The fourth step is drying it, drying and curing. And that's, that's the one where if it is warm, it may cure faster. I have to taste it in the morning and in the evening to check if it is at the right time to now shift it to the drying stage. It's nice to do that because I get to taste it at different stages. And it's fun to do. Each batch, it makes it nice and unique. Uh, I wish I could say, hey, grab this batch. It's a great batch, like any wine. How does one buy the chorizo? Word of mouth. Typically, my sister is one of the biggest sellers. She orders a lot for me. She distributes it. I'm proud to say that I've had an ex-president give it as gifts to his ex-cabinet members for about two, three years in large quantities. Somebody from Congress, so I'm proud to say, in Malacanang and in Congress. I have a website that uh, has the numbers. Uh, I can have an, I have an email address that people can call, can send a note to. But generally, it's word of mouth. So over the years, it has been given as gifts. What better gift to send than uh, chorizos and wine? How do I see Camino's chorizos in five years? I'd like to have Camino's chorizos be a, a base where one can sell it in websites where there is a small, there are small restaurants you can buy and get paella and get whatever dishes made with chorizo. For me, what I think the secret is if you make a dish with a lot of chorizo, it always tastes good. Mm -hmm.